Thank you for joining Only in Sedona Yoga. Negative emotions. We have them, fear, panic, anger, frustration, and sometimes they feel so powerful, we feel like we must react. But our job as yogis is to learn to relax, slow down, learn to sit with difficult emotions so that we can respond mindfully and in doing so, act with loving kindness and improve our lives. The best way to do that is through nurturing self-care. So I've designed this super gentle flow. It's only 15 minutes and will help you work through negative feelings so that you can respond with loving kindness and mindfulness. Grab your bolster and a mat, perhaps a towel, and let's talk to our mats. Okay, beautiful yogis, let's work through some negative feelings. And what I want you to focus on first is your breath. We're going to go down into child's pose. Take five breaths there. I want you to think breathing in. I'm aware I am breathing in as I inhale. And breathing out, I care for my sadness. So go ahead, spread your legs wide. And take a nice, easy child's pose. Come on down and breathe with me. Take one more breath here, beautiful. Slowly bring yourself up to all fours. We're going to go into cat cows, moving with your breath. Inhale as you sink into cow. Exhale as you round in the cat. And as you move and breathe here, just allow yourself to feel whatever negative emotion you have in your body. As you do this, as you breathe slowly and move with your breath, perhaps repeating. Breathing in, I am aware I am breathing in. Breathing out, I honor and validate my sadness or negative emotions. You're giving it space to live, but you're also validating yourself, you're honoring that feeling and teaching yourself resilience. You don't have to run to distraction. The moment of negative feeling makes you feel a little bit panicky or a little bit off inside. You can sit, you can breathe, you can respond instead of react. Give me two more here, beautiful. Last one. Come on down to a neutral spine. Tuck those toes beneath you. Come on up into a down dog. And all I want you to do here is first bend your knees. Shift your hips. Really feel like you have a pulley lifting those hips toward the ceiling. Drop your heels and moving with your breath, walk out your dog, looking under the opposite arm of the bent knee, 
holding each side for one breath. As you nurture yourself, as you nurture yourself and breathe through difficult emotions, it teaches you, you know what? You're strong enough to withstand this. So just continue to breathe here with me. Breathe, be, feel, and be with yourself. As you rise on both toes, sink into down dog. We're gonna take a nice deep breath, inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to heave a big sigh and let go of whatever is burdening you. Inhale. Let that stuff go. You are going to take care of that scared inner child. You're going to take care of this emotion and nurture it as you ripple yourself out to a plank. Top of a push-up. Nice and strong. Bend your knees here. Slowly bend your elbows, keeping them in a little baby chaturanga. Come on down. And we're going to come into our Sphinx pose, but we're going to keep this kind of mobile through a little flow. So just give me two breaths here. And as you inhale, start to lift yourself up. As you exhale, sink those hips back. Come into your child's pose for two breaths only. And bring it up to all fours. Give me a quick cat cow for two. One more. Back to your neutral spine. Tuck your toes. Press back up in the down dog. Give me two breaths here. Adding on to our flow, ripple forward to plank. Nice long wave. Feel your strength at the top of the push up. Roll yourself up and back. Stretch on back. Give me a rock star. Two breaths here. And then come on back to center slowly and easy. We're loving our bodies, nurturing ourselves through our negative feelings. Find that plank and then just take it to the other side. Bring it back into your plank. If you'd like to drop your knees, you can to Chaturanga. Otherwise, come on down. Come back into that Sphinx. Give me two breaths here. And then wiggle yourself up and back. Sink back into your child's pose for another two breaths. Sometimes when life is rough, you just got to surrender. And coming back up to all fours one more time through that flow. Inhale, sink into cow. Exhale, round into cat one more time. Do that again. Exhale, 
exhale round in the cow. Drop it back to a flat spine. Tuck your toes and come in here down dog. Give me a breath or two here. Ripple it out to a plank. Nice long way. Hold here, feel your strength for flipping it into your rock star. Give me a breath or two here. Coming back through center. First, take a second to align. Find that plank. You don't want to twist your spine too fast. We're being kind to our body. Bring that back to your plank. Drop your knees if you want. Otherwise, chatter on the down. Come on up to your elbows. Give me a breath or two in your sphinx. And then one last time, surrender, come on up, first of all, and then surrender that child's pose for two more final breaths. And then come on up to all fours. Grab that bolster. Have it handy. Maybe place it to the side for now. You're in all fours. Breast up and back. Into your down dog. Take your right leg. Lift it up just as high as you need to. To bring it on through and step it just outside of that front hand. If it's within your practice, and you might want to take your bolster between you now, drop that back knee. You can also put a pillow or towel under your back knee to support it. If it's within your practice, come on down, use that bolster to give you a little more room, and be nice and loving and soft on those elbows. Give me five breaths here in your lizard. Can you feel your heart beating just a bit faster from that little mini flow? Do you feel your mind thinking just a bit more clearly as you slow your breath? So often when we react instead of responding, we end up saying and doing things we don't mean and hurting those people we care about the most. And we don't want to do that as yogis. And I did this flow this morning when I was drowning in negative emotions. We're going to shift here. All I want you to do is come on down you're going to go from a lizard to a frog. So you're going to take that leg out, bend it at about 45 degrees. And you have a couple options here. You might want to have this bolster under your hip and kind of lay down. You might be comfortable another way. But either way, take that half frog and give me five breaths.
and bring yourself here up here beautiful come back to all fours place your bolster or you can use a pillow just give me a quick cat cow Come back to a neutral spine, tuck your toes, go back up into that down dog, just long enough to liberate your left leg this time and bring it up just to the outside of that front hand. Drop your knee, if you have a pillow or a bolster, you might even use a stack of them here. Go for it, give me five breaths. If you attend therapy at all for anxiety or any mental health problem, your therapist may have talked to you about the importance of giving yourself that pause before you react. This is kind of an extended pause. And it just gives you the break you need to think more clearly, to clear your head, and to not say those things that can only make it worse or do those things that can only make a tough situation worse. Come out of it, maybe shift that bolster back, transform yourself from a lizard to a frog, and give me five breaths here. Bring yourself up, place your bolster to the side, and simply come to sit in an easy Sukhasana seat. We're just going to do a couple quick simple twists and close our practice. Let's take a deep breath of air, inhale up overhead, exhale, rotate out in your wrist tension as you twist to the side of the forward leg. Give me a breath or two here. And maybe you feel inspired to take that back arm up and look up and get a deeper stretch through the side body. And then come on out, switch your legs, switch the cross. Get another deep breath of air. Rotate out the wrists twist and lift and our landscapers are coming through the complex so I will bring us out as we close our practice bring your hands to your heart touching your forehead for clarity of thought your lips for kindness of speech, which is why we're here. And your beautiful heart for taking the time to respond instead of react and process your negative emotions. Namaste.